Okay, guys, let's show you the new truck. Done! <laughs> okay, here's my diesel truck for you guys. My first diesel and Volkswagen at the same time. It's the diesel Volkswagen pickup or rabbit or caddy, they could call it. They only made it for a few years, I don't know, two or three years. This is the 81, so it's basically a classic, so I'm going to call it a classic. So, forgive me if it's not, but it's, I'm going to call it a classic because it's 40 years old. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a classic. But anyways, uh, yeah, we were working, me and my dad, and then we saw this in a person's yard. So, we asked about it, and, they're, and they were moving, so I was like, they were like selling it. So, I was like, really? And then they gave me a price. I don't know if I'll say it just yet, but they gave me a pretty an okay price for a, a small pickup. So, we said we'd think about it, and we looked around, we thought it would be a good a good truck, and they're actually fairly rare and valuable, so we decided to go back and buy it. So, yeah, so this is our barnyard find, as a lot of people call it, <laughs> but it's the Volkswagen diesel truck, and yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not too bad of shape, as you can see, there is denting in places the other side is the cleanest but yes because there's like a major dent right here but other than that also it's missing a hubcap and a few other random dents it will probably need a paint job but this is gonna be a new project for us it's probably I'm probably not gonna keep it just because I already have so many projects already and yeah so I just gonna get it for the money fix it up make it look nice fix the car make it feel good and then sell it past to an owner who will enjoy it way more than I am going to anyways, hopefully, and not destroy it. And there is a little bit of surface rough on the roof and the back here, but it's not too crazy. Like, you could almost keep the rustic look here. But yeah, hey, let's do a full circle for you guys, just so you can see the whole truck. They also threw in an extra bumper there. So we'll just go around, probably remove the railings. I don't know if those are stock or not. And then we'll show you the inside. It has an interesting shape to it. That I kind of like, but then I don't know what to think. <laughs> but yeah. There's the outside. Got your diesel intake here. Now, let's show you the inside. There we go. It's a little rough, but once I get a good cleaning in there, it'll clean up nice. But as you can see, it has the nice classic reddish wood color. The dash is slightly cracky, but it seems to look pretty good. As you can see in there, it's definitely dirty, but I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos about this truck. It's me fixing it up for you guys. The seats don't look too bad. And yeah, the headliner is falling apart on me. But all those things we can all work on, right? But yeah, and then it has the classic doors, roll up windows. Now let's move to the other side for you guys. Dun dun dun. Yeah, have you guys ever owned one as a kid? Or anytime, really? Tell me what you guys have owned. If you have you owned any of these old Volkswagens, tell me in the comments below. But yeah, here's what it looks like under here. Really dirty, but <laughs> it's, as you can tell, it's a manual. It's a. Uh, Let's see now. It's a five-speed, anyways, with the reverse there. Uh, I've I've been driving it with the, and it it actually drives pretty smooth. <laughs> but yeah, and it has like old old car, but like racing style steering, which is cool. And all the lights work. It has blinkers, the lights up, uh, the brights, and then there's also a choke back here. This is a choke. This is when you're first starting it. And then there's the light switch. But yeah. I haven't done a whole lot. I actually just got this yesterday. So I'm basically exploring it with you. Other than when we first looked at it. And we're going to buy it. But yeah. We could... I actually don't even know how to pop the hood on this thing. I'm assuming it's this one. There we go. Yeah. First time I'm exploring it. Let's look at the hood. I don't even know how you open it. 
to get it out. I think that is it. Oh, classic. Get it hold you up there while I put this bar in place. Sorry. I had to put the bar in place and I couldn't do it without two hands. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like underneath. A good pressure washing would clean it up. The owner said with these old Volkswagens, you gotta make sure you don't get water in that compartment so like they tarp it as you saw in the tarp in the back she tarped it so it wouldn't get water in there so i don't know something to look out for that's what she said and as you can see i think it's the 1.6 liter i don't know anything about these i could le just look it up on wikipedia and it'll bring it up for you but i don't know a whole lot about them because i just bought it and yeah so it's actually a very simple diesel truck as i th as i think and you can see the the whatever the serpentine belt is that what it's called it's on this side not this side like a normal car it's pointed different i don't know everything about this is just different and kind of cool you know <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's a diesel engine and it's four cylinder i think yeah four yeah anyways don't quote me on any of this just something that i'm kind of seeing personally but yeah so this is what it looks like underneath the engine I will just leave that up. Now, let's try and start this baby. And hopefully it'll start good in here. That reflection off the hood actually, so I'm actually gonna take the hood down. Just for the video quality, right? Because you don't wanna be watching a video with horrible quality. It just doesn't work. <laughs> and I do care about my videos. I want to try and make them good. Anyways, let's see now. We have, first things first, let's get the keys out. Came with a key, actually two keys, actually. Now we put it in there. Fitted her in. Maybe the other way. There we go. Now push in the clutch. Very important. And also, she will like said to pull out the the clutch as well. And now, I already ran it, so it's already warm. Otherwise, you'd have to wait for this yellow glow plug light. And there's also a little clock in there. You see that? There's a little clock. And then there's just the speedometer that actually broke and was replaced. So it has about 200,000 miles on it. So not a lot for being a 40-year-old truck. But yeah, okay, we got the clutch out, we got our, no, clutch in, and the, the choke out. So now we can turn the key. And it has a really loud vibration. I'm thinking it's the engine mounts, but it, as long, if I add a little bit of idle, it quietens it. It makes it quiet. But anyways, that's how it started. And then it has the lights. It's not really working, but the front lights are working, and it has a temperature gauge, temp, temp, temperature gauge down here. Sorry if you can't hear me because of the engine, but it is a little bit vibrating, like a big bass sound. But it is working. Now I think I have it in neutral, so I can leave it, and I have my e-brake on. We can listen to it out here. So it sounds like not too loud from the outside it's a diesel right and then let's listen to the pipe back here not too bad but yeah I'm gonna be cleaning this thing up everything work done sellable anyways and then maybe if you guys are close enough you can buy it maybe <laughs> but anyways that's my project I actually this is what I kind of do just to pay for all my YouTube projects. I fix cars. So let's turn this off. So yeah, that's actually how I pay for my trucks and Jeeps and dirt bikes is I find some a nice car that just needs some maintenance on it that or paint and then I fix it and then I sell it for a little bit more and that way I can buy new tires as you saw in the last video. I got tires, wheels, all from just fixing up a car and making it worthy of driving again. So I'm saving a car 
Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> saving a car and buying a tire, eh? That's how it works. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little project. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys will join me for this one. So hit that subscribe. Well, like and video. No, like this video and hit the subscribe button and make sure you put the notifications on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's a cool little truck. Hope you join me on this adventure. And yeah, I'm happy with it. So yeah, we're gonna be making a lot, a lot more videos about this thing. I sound like I keep repeating myself, but. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one. And I always have a video every single week. So I'll see you then. See ya. Whoop.